Hey guys, this is Luke Zeem from LukeZeem.com. A while back I shared a blog post teaching everyone how to use their Lightroom presets from their desktop onto their mobile device like their iPad or iPhone. And it got a lot of uh, comments, questions and feedback. So today the purpose of this video is to show you how I actually do it. But just quickly before I start the tutorial I want to share these gorgeous <laughs> presets from Trey Ratcliffe. If you use the link in the description, you'll get 10% off all these packs. I've been using them for a long time and what I love about them is their diversity. They can take a image that looks quite normal and plain and give it some pop and wow. So this preset pack has 10 presets. You want to create a collection. So I've created a collection down here that you can do this from the drop down button and then add a photo to the collection. So from your library, you'll just pick a photo and drag it into the collection. Now you want to create as many virtual copies along the film strip as are in your preset pack. So in this one, I've got 10. So I'm going to create 10 virtual copies. So I'll just do that now. Just by right clicking, create virtual copy. And also another thing is when these are loading on your mobile, if they're large raw files, it's going to take a long time to load. So what I did was created a small uh, JPEG. So this one is not very large at all. It's only 1200 pixels wide. And that way they'll load a lot faster on your mobile. Now you just want to use the first preset on the first photo. Onto the second photo, we're just going to apply the second preset and we just go through each preset applying just one to each photo. And this way we'll have an example of each of the presets in this pack and we'll be able to use them on our phones or iPads. One too many, that's okay. Just delete, remove this photo. Okay. So now we need to get this onto our phone and it's if you've already been syncing up your device to your phone, you just have to sync the collection to your phone and this will copy over or you can also just right click and sync with Lightroom mobile. But this button is a much easier method. So here we are on my mobile phone and this is the collection we've just created and it contains an example of each of the presets in the Trey Ratcliffe pack. So I've got a lot of collections on here. So this one for example, which is the package 3 from Trey Ratcliffe has got many different presets to use. This one for example is quite nice. But let's use one from the collection we just created. So I'm going to do a sunset example. So we just go across here and up the top right, you see these three dots. You just want to select those and go copy setting. And you can see they're all ticked. And you just click OK to copy all these. Now we need to go and find the photo that we want to apply this to. So I've got some photos on here for editing. Um, I'm going to use a Sydney Harbour sunset shot and we've opened that up and now we just go back to the three dots up the top and we paste the settings in and isn't that great just a simple copy and paste i mean it's a workaround using presets but at the moment if you go down to presets the only presets that are available are the ones that adobe has supplied us and it's been like this for a long time so Using this method, you've got the ability to use your own presets on your photos on your iPad and iPhone. All right, remember to use the link below this video if you want to have the 10% discount applied to your purchase if you're going to buy these presets. I think they're a lot of fun and they can sort of inspire you to be more creative with your photography. And that's only a good thing. Okay, see you next time. If you have any questions, just leave them on my blog or on my YouTube channel and I'll get back to you. Subscribe for more videos. Cheers.